So, I wasn't exactly sure I was going to start this video, but you saw a little bit of an intro there, and what I did in the last couple of weeks is buy an abandoned racetrack. Now, I've been out here a little bit in the last week. I've only owned the place for like three or four days, and I did a little bit of cleanup, so we got a parking and lay down area for some equipment, things like that. We got some people out here and do a little bit of work, but nonetheless, there's not going to be a drawn out intro or anything. Here it is. This is the prior home of Copper Creek Motorsports Park in Superior, Wisconsin, as well as the Apollo 8th Mile Drag Strip. It all used to be right here. They used to race carts on this, so it's a little bit smaller than maybe you're imagining in video in person. You'll still be able to rip a car on here, do some drifting, autocrossing, do burnouts and car shows, all kinds of stuff. I mean, you name it. It's kind of a playground. Ultimately, I would really like to pave the infield. That's kind of my short list of things to do, but we'll see in the next year or two if things go good. I can see doing it. So, let's go for a walk. Might not make sense why I would buy this, okay? It's got nothing to do with YouTube for me. For the last 10 years or better, I've been pulled in the direction of doing car shows. You know, I've, I've done quite a few of them. Uh, some good, some not as successful. I've been hunting for a place to do auto crossing unsuccessfully for the past 10 years in the area because right now, no such place exists, okay? This is gonna be a bigger deal for my friends and I and all the community in the Twin Ports that might appear on camera because maybe where you're at, there's a lot of racing. Maybe there's a lot of places to go pick from. Maybe there's drag racing you can do. Maybe there's local SCCA, uh, autocross competitions, things like that. Well, here, there's nothing within about a three, three and a half hour radius. You have to go Brainerd International Raceway, which I love and I'll be a patron of forever. I love going there. I started getting into cars there. You know, however long ago now, getting older, but um, it's too bad because if you saw my last video, the last time I went to Brainerd, it was on a Wednesday night, and I didn't get back home till after midnight. And you know, that's on a work night. It sucks. It really makes for a long night after you work all day, unless you take the day off or whatever, or if you go on the weekend. But I don't want it to appear like I'm. I'm trying to say this is bigger than it is, or whatever. But this is something. People have talked for as long as I've been into cars about doing something in the area, something that people can go and have fun at, something you can do like camping or just play around with cars and not worry about getting hassled. By most standards, you should be able to do things safe here. Now, there nothing else like this exists in the area. If you tell me, well, maybe you should have waited for you know land to develop. Maybe you should have waited for you know a track to close. Maybe you could get on buying in that. It doesn't exist. This is the only opportunity, and I, I can't make that clear enough, so I'm just gonna stop talking about that, but this is, in my opinion, our one and only shot at making something happen, and somebody's gotta take the first step, and in this case, it was me. The track is about 450 feet from corner to corner the long way. The corners are banked. The track is about 25 feet wide, so right now I've got a wide angle lens on and it, it'll appear wider than it is in person, but gotta get scale for my feet. I'll get a car out here, I'll show you what it's like, but with the lens that I've got on, it does appear a little bit larger than it will when people come out here. But if you're having a few people out here, getting eyes on it, this is all gonna be super, super usable. Now you're probably asking yourself, why would you consider buying it when the asphalt is all screwed up because the grass is going through it and it's heaved or whatever? show you something that beneath all of it everywhere you do this what you're gonna see you're just gonna have a little hole to patch it's not all heaved so this is all gonna be as far as I can tell 100% savable and this is all cleaned up through here you get this track seal coated again, it's going to look brand new. It's going to be functionally brand new. So, like anything like this, I'm taking a big chance on it. But, worst case scenario, my friends and I have somewhere to come safely play with our cars. I want to open it up to car shows. I'd like to make it a stop on cruise for cancer. I think this could be a net gain for everybody. 
that is in the car community for the area and I, I really believe that so the space might not be the biggest in the world but like anything it's how you use it I'll give you a quick tour of the track I'm gonna save the rest of this for another video I just want to keep you guys in the loop on what's going on so far just so we're all on the same page I own the place outright this is mine and solely mine right now so they used to do this was the old timing area or the uh, the flagging wood stand. We've had some spectating right here. Previous owner built this little wall of tires, which is pretty smart. It was like some uh, slippery type plastic-ish material where you know you could kind of skid off if you're on a cart, but I think a car probably wouldn't fare so well. But here's the old control tower, if you want to call it that. It's actually in pretty good shape, believe it or not. A little bit of scraping and uh, paint. Maybe a couple of doors replaced, you know, pretty hung doors. You'd have something. There's only a little bit of rot on it, but otherwise, the building is in super, super good shape. I mean, believe it or not. Replace something up here. You know, obviously, the surface has been vertical and been catching water or whatever, but everything in here is savable, you know, and for not a lot of money. I mean, the bones are good on all this stuff. I mean, the stairs are good on it. We'll head up there and I'll give you a quick peek. It's all paved through here, so if I do go and open anything up, we're going to have a huge open area right here, especially if you open up all the fencing and did something. I mean, right here alone is a huge skid pad. I mean, I'm sure you can see it. It's got to be, I mean, from here to here, it's got to be at least 100, and I don't think it's paved through here, but it's going to be 100 by, I don't know, 80, something like that, 80 by 100. It's kind of a weird shape, too, so if you buried all this off, you got your skid pad right here. Obviously, it's close to the uh, building, which I don't want destroyed, but it's neither here nor there right now. Somebody's home. Came up here yesterday, there's a bird in here. I about kinked my neck out. I thought I was gonna die. Well, there's a bumblebee today. So, flooring's all good in here. I've been in here a few times, but on any big job, you get copper thieves. So this place has been pretty well picked over as far as copper, but what I do have all the way in the back there is a good 200 amp service. So the expensive part or the really important part is done. Comes all the way in from the highway and for whatever reason, it's like they found a little bit of kindness in their heart and the thieves only took out uh, like secondary wire, like all the 110 and 240 volt stuff after the fact. So this most of this is actually going to be salvageable. Um, I need to get a new meter socket in here, but I'll have power in this building. I'll have power back in the 24 by 48 garage back there. That's actually usable as a shop right now. But we'll get into that in the next video. I'll be referring to that place as the Love Shack, and I'll show you why in a little bit. Well, not in a little bit, I guess in the next upload. But at any rate, All vinyl windows are all good. I gotta dial in this one a little bit, but this is gonna be sealed up real quick and easy. But this is how it used to be. And with it all cleared, we're gonna get a really cool change of perspective after just a few days here. I wanted to come and film this right now because my buddy is gonna come down here with his skid steer tomorrow. I think he's gonna start plucking trees right here. So hopefully that all goes well, but I don't know guys. What do you think? I, I don't really have an agenda, and I'm just kinda, I'm just ad-libbing as I go on. At any rate, it's a pretty neat space, and like I've said, I'm not gonna go on and on and on and on about it, but there's nothing even remotely like this available in the area, so. People talk a big game about doing things, and I'm not, I'm not shaming anybody by saying it. I'm guilty of it too. I say I'm gonna do all kinds of stuff. I said I was gonna turbo the Camaro. I haven't even started. I don't think I'm gonna, but right here, the, this is the difference between talk and action. So I don't know if this is gonna be the end of the video right now. I'm out here with my truck because I'm out here actually doing work or whatever. I'm not out here to play quite yet. There's a lot of work to do before playtime begins. But I just wanted to update you guys on what I got. The next video, I'll show you what's back there. We're gonna go for a ride uh, in the back 15 or 12 acre parcel. I got a metric ton of parking over there. You can see I've already kind of been mulling the last couple of days by that roller packer. I think we're gonna try and get that thing to run too. It should run, but 
So guys, I don't know if we're gonna do any car stuff here in this very first upload. I just really wanted to get this out there so you kinda know what I'm working on. Uh, this is gonna suck up probably the majority of my free time as far as I can tell. Like anybody knows, it's done something like this. It's about one of the biggest commitments you can make is to rehab something like this. But as far as I can tell, all the major stuff is done. If you don't mind cutting some brush and doing some manual labor, a little bit of painting and a little bit of lumber replacement, I think I'm really gonna have something here. Well, all right guys, I'm gonna go hop on that mower and start cutting grass inside of the track. I'll try to make that halfway as presentable before I have anybody out here this year, besides a few close friends that I've had. Um, but yeah, all the overgrowth you've seen was very similar just all through here and over in the parking area. And I've kind of cut that all down in the last, I don't know, a couple of nights out here at this little riding lawnmower that I've got. It's a Cub Cadet and I think I'm probably gonna end up killing that thing out here. I'm finding stuff and trash out here once in a while, but for the most part, it's just really, really working that thing. I know it's not meant to do it, but be straight up, I'm not made of money. It's what I got and until I get like a brush hog or three point hitch tractor, some with PTO that I can actually do some serious, you know, brushing with, it's what I got. So kind of look at that sort of thing where it's like, well, if not now, when are you ever going to do it? But this thing's mostly complete. I, I don't think this one's too terribly far away from being a runner. I don't know exactly what's all missing on here. It's kind of hard to tell. But um, I said the key's still there and all that, which is awesome. Nobody just copped that thing and ran away. Anyways, guys, hope you liked today's video. This one's pretty much straightforward. I haven't rehearsed any of this. I'm not trying to make a big grand production out of it or anything. I just want to give you guys what I'm doing straight up. So if you've watched these videos before, you know I'm not the dude that's going to be talking like this, but I hope you get a little bit of inspiration out of it. And if you got a dream, might as well dream big. One day it might come true came true for me. Now it wasn't, none of this is a short path. I'm not saying that this type of stuff happens overnight because it doesn't. It's, you know, it, it ain't even done yet. So I don't know guys, I, I hate to get all too personal or anything like that. And I, I know I said it already, but I never really talk like about this type of stuff in any of the videos I do. It's always straightforward, you know, working on the cars or whatever I'm doing. It's racing. I'm usually not narrating it or anything like that, but I really think that, you know, deep down, I feel that this is something that I was never gonna have the opportunity to do again. The timing was right. I kind of snuck in at the right time because other people were looking at buying it, which I didn't know. I mean, the place wasn't even technically for sale. The owner just happened to want to sell it. And, you know, he's been great to work with and I'm super happy that we kind of clicked and rubbed shoulders finally. Well, I guess I'm gonna sign off here while I stare off into the abyss. Um, I don't know how to end it. I think this is one of those things and you could probably all imagine yourself in this sort of situation or you know whatever it might be if you want to start a business if you want to sell stamps or if you want to go braid hair for a living it could be anything if something's really calling you i think you got to an answer because when you get old and you can't do it anymore i think you're gonna wish you did i was gonna well that's about all i got for today's video i'm done rambling i'm gonna get off of my literal mantle and i'm gonna go to work if you think that this might be something that someone needs to see something you needed to see just showing that dreams are possible and they do come true you know maybe they're not exactly as you pictured but if you get really really close it's better than not trying at all like anything the community is usually behind you if you're doing this sort of stuff and the car community is one of the best ones out there and i can say that with a hundred percent certainty so i'm gonna go get to work i'll see you guys in the next video